Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It is currently a little before 5 o'clock on June 16th, 2018. It's a Saturday and Murder Dog and I, she's, you're laying down again? You're supposed to be in the shot, Murder Dog. What happened? Uh, <laughs> Murder Dog's laying down behind me. We are currently at a Cedar Creek Park, which I think is officially lift, listed in Seaford, New York, but it's like right on the border of Seaford and Wontaw. Anyway, uh, this is the park that has that dog park that I'm not a fan of, uh, the one where I was so rudely interrupted during that short video from last week, um, and the one I've had a history with having an issue with with the dog park here. Um, but it does have a nice playground, and despite the rules of the park, that you know the dogs are only supposed to be in the dog park themselves, plenty of people wander around here with their dogs, so I figured it was a little safer to be here. And uh, we were actually here with the kids and the wife uh, for the day. Well, at least for a few hours, because unfortunately my one daughter and my wife still aren't feeling very good. Um, but they you know, wanted to come out for a little bit so I could at least see them. And we actually had a picnic here in the park today, which was great. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, and they just left a little while ago. So it's been a good day so far. Last night after uh, I finished recording the vlog, Murder Dog and I headed over to uh, the Planet Fitness parking lot to uh, go make use of the Wi-Fi there. Because I figure, well, for the 20-something bucks I'm spending a month on the membership, I'm really only taking showers. So if I use the Wi-Fi, yeah, that makes up for the fact that I'm not working out. Um, but I sat there for a while and uh, uploaded some things and uh, just made use of the Wi-Fi. Uh, and then uh, I had to clear out because, well, it's open 24-7 during the week, but not on the weekends. So, you know, that parking lot's probably probably off limits <laughs> on the weekends. Uh, but anyway, Murder Dog and I ended up uh, heading down a little further south from there and testing out the spot that we tried, well, we almost tried a couple nights beforehand, the night of the uh, the missing toy incident at the restaurant <laughs> with my kids, because uh, I had parked there that night, and then I, uh, as I told you guys, I got that call, I got that message from my wife all panic-stricken about the missing toy, and I ended up going to, you know, meet up with them and go get the toy back, and then I never went as far south as I had started, so I ended up in that other location that night. So I figured, well, we might as well test out that location th tonight. Uh, well, last night now. So we did, and uh, it ended up working really well. You know, it's a public street. There's the only rules on it are no parking between midnight and six a.m. for trucks, buses, trailers, and RVs. I am none of those things. So I figured it was safe, and yeah, nobody bothered us. Uh, you know, quite noisy because it's it's near. It's you know a service road ish of a major road. Um, but again, stuff like that normally doesn't bother me. I'm used to living near busy roads, so I can tune out those noises rather quickly. And uh, yeah, we we parked there, and uh, then her murder dog and I ended up going for a nice long walk last night because it was pretty. It was a nice night out. Came back, uh, threw a movie on for a little while. I think, what the heck we watched last night? Oh, I think Lego Batman, <laughs> one of those movies, because my kids love that stuff. It's actually pretty funny, um, and I had it on, I had it in one of the folders that I have on my desktop. So I was like, oh, I'll throw that on because it's a shorter movie, and uh, you know, I started to nod off towards the end of it anyway. So I was like, oh, that's that's about right. So closed everything up and uh, went to sleep. Woke up, you know, our normal time, six thirty ish, between six thirty and seven is usually normal for us these days. Woke up. Uh, sun was out, it was already a beautiful day, and Murder Dog and I started it off by taking like a two mile walk this morning, which was, uh, you know, really nice. Uh, again, like I said, the, I think it was yesterday, I said she hasn't been walking as much as, you know, she used to, because she's getting older, but I figured, yeah, let's get a walk in now in case we can't, you know, go, go to dog parks later or whatever, or something happens. So yeah, we had a nice long walk to start the day, and then, uh, that ended up working out because the uh, the wife and kids were taking a while to get ready. So we so uh, Murder Dog and I just ended up sitting in a parking lot where we got some good Wi-Fi and uh, played on the internet for a while. Finally uploaded a bunch of stuff to YouTube because I keep getting requests for that because I know people keep having problems with the, with DTube, unfortunately. Uh, as I've said, I unfortunately have issues with it too uh, when I'm dealing with certain Wi-Fi as far as uploading goes. Uh, even the playback, uh, one of my new, well, one of my one of my newer friends, uh, the wandering ag agorist, I think that's what his name is on Steemit, um, who uh, 
who's one of been, been one of my most vocal supporters <laughs> and checking in with me regularly and I know he's watching all the vlogs and stuff uh, actually said actually uh, did his own walkthrough of his Nissan Xterra and I was super excited when I saw that when he posted I saw that he posted on my uh, on one of my posts you know he commented on one of my posts that he was going to make one and I was super stoked to see what he had going on and unfortunately I no matter how many times I tried last night I couldn't watch it it would like play for 5 3 seconds and then stop and then play for three to five seconds and then stop and then maybe play for 10 to 15 seconds and then stop. And it was just so jilted. I only got through the first like three minutes of the 20 minute video. But today, much better internet wherever I ended up. And uh, I was able to watch the whole thing. And it was it was really cool to see the, the situation he's got. Um, definitely may uh, take some ideas from him, especially that nifty little tray on the back of the on the back of the vehicle that uh, holds his cooler. Uh, I think I may look into that at some point, depending on how long I'm out here. Um, but yeah, that was that, that was that was pretty cool. Once I finally got to watch that, because um, it's just you know it's 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 exciting to me that other people are doing this, and I, I I'm trying to share as much as I can with people. So it's great when people share in return. Um, so that was great. And then I also while I was waiting there for the kids and the wife to be ready, and I was finishing uploading. Sorry, there's a plane going overhead. Um, the uh, I, I got a text message from my new friend that I met the other day, who's been living out of his Jeep for a couple of years. And, you know, he said he was actually looking for me this morning and we must have missed each other. But I told, you know, I told him I had plans with the wife and kids today, um, but maybe we could hook up later. And he just, you know, he told me to text me when I'm done, text him when I'm done. So I plan on doing that in a little while. And uh, well, let's, we'll see. Maybe we'll hook up with him tonight and uh, swap some more stories, hang out a bit. Uh, maybe I can convince him to uh, do some recording with me and stuff. Um, so that should be interesting. And then, you know, like I said, once the once once that was all done and the kids and the wife were finally ready, we met up at the park. We had a, you know, we, we went to the dog park first because Murder Dog had been stuck in the car since we went for that long walk this morning since I ended up being busy and she was just she was sleeping anyway. Um, so she needed to get out and run around the dog park for a little while. And then we went and sat and had a picnic. Um, I, sh I got to show the kids how my little uh, camping stove works um, because my one daughter loves mashed potatoes and, you know, the instant mashed potatoes. And I actually happen to have some of those with me because they're really easy to make. And in a pinch, I can, you know, all I have to do is boil water and throw those in. I'm good to go. Um, so they got to watch me use that as I, you know, I made that for them. And then I made some of my soup. Couldn't get them to try that. But, oh, well, um, I pretty much stuffed myself because I realized I've kind of like inadvertently been intermittent fasting. Uh, on a fairly regular basis since I've been out here and it's actually been showing extreme benefits I think I've dropped a whole crap load of weight without even trying to uh, we went to the I went to one of the doctor's appointments I went to with, with my kids the other day they kept they kept asking me because they lo love to weigh themselves and they wanted me they wanted me to weigh myself so I got on the scale and according to the scale in that office I'm down to 172 fully clothed uh, which uh, I haven't been that light in. I can't remember how long. Um, usually, like my, I always used to say my optimum weight was somewhere between 170 and 175. Um, although in the best shape I was ever in my life, I think I was closer to 195. But that's when I was working out a lot and I had you know lots of muscles and stuff like that. Um, I don't have I don't have those muscles anymore. I still have you know knee dual ones. Um, but I don't. I'm not rocking the dad bod anymore, which is nice. And like I said, it was unintended. <laughs> um, I thought maybe it was just I'm starving myself, but when I thought about it, I was like, no, you you idiot, you've actually just been intermittent fasting without really trying to. Um, so I figured since I've been on that kick anyway, I would just stuff myself while we were here, while I already had all you know I had the camping you know the stove out and everything. And uh, just eat a bunch of stuff now, and I'll probably won't have to eat. You know, maybe I'll eat something much later tonight. May even skip that altogether. Um, you know, so that that I think that ha I mean, I've tried intermittent fasting in the past, and I've definitely seen the benefits of it for myself. I used to do it about once a you know usually once a week. Just on uh, Mondays was my thing. I would do like that eighteen hour stretch where I wouldn't eat, and uh, you know even doing that seems to reset the body a little bit. And uh, now I'm just taking it to the next level. So it has that benefit, obviously. It you know makes me feel a little bit better, and obviously I can save money this way if I'm not eating as much around the clock. So all all good on that end. Um, so yeah, we you know once once we were done eating, they wanted to go play on the you know the playground for a little while. We did that. Murder dog slept in the car because I found a nice shady spot and I, where I was able to keep an eye on the vehicle and. Uh, that way I can leave the tailgate open so she could, uh, you know, she could get an airflow in there. And it was plenty cool in there for her. So she was just knocked out there for a while. And, uh, you know, we hung out and played. And then they had to get going because, like I said, 
uh, two of them are, are not feeling well, so they uh, I need them to go back and get re- rested up so they can uh, be feeling better in a couple days because, well, it's Saturday now, so we're even closer to our trip out to Michigan. And uh, I'm hoping that nothing gets in the way because, you know, I've mentioned two years ago that's what happened. One of my daughters broke their foot like a month beforehand, and then the other one got sick day of, so neither of them could go. And I really hope that's not the case this year because – I really think the entire family needs to get away and, and not just get away, but be, be together um, and have some fun. So really hoping they can uh, get rested and uh, rested and well by Wednesday, because otherwise it's going to be a problem. <laughs> but yeah, so now, uh, like I said, since I was still here at the park and it's still uh, nice out, it's you know not, not yet five o'clock yet. Figured why not climb up to the top of one of these hills and uh, do a recording here. And it's funny, I, I walked up to this particular hill before because my kids were on top of it. They were picking flowers up here. And I haven't, you know, I've been to this park recently because, I, you know, I came to the dog park the other day when I shot that video. I came here the other, a week or so ago, maybe two weeks ago. Uh, I talked about it in a vlog when with my friend Lori met us here and, uh, you know, the kids and, and the wife. And we all hung out together and played in the playground for a while. And, uh, but I haven't been through all of the park in quite a while, and it's been quite a long time since I've been on one of the top of these hills. But as soon as I climbed up, I started having all these memories of all the stuff we used to do when we were teenagers up here. <laughs> and uh, it looks very much the same. It's pretty funny. You, you don't, you can't really see it when you're down in the parking lots. But once you get up here, it's like, oh, yeah, I remember this place. We used to hang out here a lot. <laughs> oh, the memories. Sorry about the sun in the background. I was trying to find a good place to get light. And uh, if I faced the other way, it was uh, there was no backlight whatsoever, so I was my face was very dark. Um, and I'm trying to get the best video quality I can, even though I'm still rocking this stupid integrated camera. Which, by the way, I, I've noticed all of a sudden has started working better. Maybe if I crouch up a little bit, I can block out the sun here. There we go. Um, we uh, I've all of a sudden it started noti- uh, it started working better. Apparently, Windows is finally starting to catch up with the updates that they screwed up with all these drivers because the past three or four times I've attempted to shut down my computer, my laptop, every time it said, you know, giving you the option to either restart with updates or shut down with updates. So there's just been constant updates over the past couple of days. And all of a sudden, my camera works when I turn OBS on right away with no issue. It even worked with the uh, the, the Dell the, the standard Dell feature, the webcam central worked with no issue. And I was like, oh, well, it's about time. Now I bought that other camera for pretty much nothing. I may actually return that. I think I still have another couple of weeks before, uh, cause they 30 day return policy. Um, I'm probably going to end up returning that because while it does work on the other laptop, as long as this one's working, I don't necessarily need that one. So yeah, I'll get some money back from that. Which would be good because I spent a little more money on Amazon today as I ordered some things in preparation for our trip. Um, and also things that I've been wanting to get anyway, like a duffel bag. Um, I found a really good, sturdy, cheap one. Um, and that should be here in a couple of days. So hopefully I'll get to swap out the soup- suitcase for the duffel bag before we take our trip. And I also ordered a head, one of those headlamp, you know, one of those lights that, so you can uh, work hands free, which I had mentioned, uh, I think one of my, one of my first vlogs after I got out of the road that I had wish I hadn't packed mine away because I had one of them in my toolbox. And, uh, when I had mentioned that I had actually gotten a message from Ben Stone who, who had heard that uh, vlog and said, Hey, by the way, if you go pick up a new one, you should consider getting one with a green light on it. And I had like I knew the idea of green light, how you know you could it helps you see at night, but it's not bright, so it doesn't like uh, the the red lights they use on those on those type of headlamps. They're supposed it's supposed to be like infrared, but it's still rather bright, and you can see it from like you know if you're if you're walking along and you look out you look out and you see somebody like across the way with one of those, you can notice it. The green lights designed not to do that. It's also for the dogs. They can't um, you know animals can't see it. It doesn't startle them. Um, cause they, it doesn't really register with them, uh, which is the perfect thing if you're walking your dog at night and you want to be able to see, but you want them to just track along and actually be adjusted to the light already and not be, you know, not look, not look towards you, see your light get blinded temporarily and whatnot, uh, using the green light will actually uh, prevent that from happening. But I didn't know they had those in, in headlamps, but Ben was like, yeah, look one of those up. So I did, and, uh, I ordered one and that should be here on Monday as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of excited about that and then I'll, I'll have to get around to returning that, um, that webcam as well. And then, uh, I think the only other things we really have to purchase other than food and stuff for, uh, for the fest is we do have to get another tent. 
uh, because unfortunately mine's a three man and it was just enough room for the kids and I and the dog last year. Definitely not going to be room for all of us plus the wife. So we knew that already. We knew going in, we were going to need a bigger tent. Uh, we do have to get another canopy because unfortunately the one that I had last year had got damaged. And, uh, you know, as long as it's not windy, it'll hold up kind of, but I didn't want to risk it. And that, that just got tossed out when we, when we, uh, got rid of all the stuff at the house for the, you know, the last go around with the garbage people. So, you know, got to replace that. So again, I knew that was coming, uh, but we still have to make those purchases. I hadn't wanted to go on Amazon cause, uh, last time I looked, they had a bigger version of the four far, I think yeah, four, four far is the company of the tent that I have are currently which I'm a huge fan of. That tent was amazing. Uh, it was marketed as, as waterproof. I tested it out. It got tested out right away because the very first time I used it, we were caught in like 12 hours of straight rain out in Michigan two years ago, and the tent was bone dry. So I was looking to get another one of those because not only was it you know ex extremely uh, durable and completely waterproof, but it, was, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't too expensive. And they had a couple of options the last time I looked. Unfortunately, when I went to go look today, nope, they only have one now, and it's not the one I wanted. So I'm going to have to go look for another brand, most likely. Um, I think I was at Walmart the other day, and I saw they had a bunch of sales on like the Ozark Trail stuff, which I've used in the past. Not, not too bad. Um, hold on one second. Murder Dog, come here. Cameron. Cameron, come. So we're going, you know, so we may have to, you know, step down and buy one of those but hey if it's you know we can save a little money in the process and uh we'll test it out and i'll let everybody know how it is when we get back <laughs> so gotta go pick up those things oh this light's getting bad so we gotta go pick up those things and i think that's pretty much it oh and then we, need, we do need one more sleeping bag because we currently have three so i guess we should be nice and get the wife one um <laughs> And other than that, it's just going to be packing and prepping and, you know, per getting some food and stuff like that. And uh, Monday, I have to head out east to go to the storage unit where it's being kept so I can get the rest of our camping gear out and swap a couple of things out of my car. I'll finally get rid of that pet ramp and a couple other odds and ends that I've, I've realized I don't really need. I'm just going to put the, take the camping stuff out and put those in the storage unit. And uh, now, of course, I was I was all alone on top of the hill, and now there's people everywhere. How rude! <laughs> Just kidding. Public park. I guess can't really avoid that. But anyway, so yeah, got to do that on Tuesday. Uh, on the way there, I think I'm gonna hopefully finally stop at my buddy's house and ditch my miner for the time being, because uh, my my wife's been driving it around with the she's been keeping it in her car for the, for a few for a few days for me, um, and I, we'd like to get that out of there before we travel to Michigan. Uh, talked to him today, and he did say he'd be around on Monday. So Ty, you better be there this time, man. Uh, <laughs> so I could drop that off along the way, and then head out east to pick to go to the storage unit. And then come back and start figuring out the last minute prep, uh, packing preparations. Because the only other thing I'm worried about is I got to get some laundry done uh, before we head out. And I actually used, I went to a laundromat last week for the first time. You know, that was during the whole dog pee incident. Um, and uh, I, I went, you know, I went there and I don't necessarily mind spending some money to have the laundry done, especially like I paid to, for them to do it, you know, fold and, wa you know, put and make it all nice for me and everything. Um, but they do charge by the pound. And, uh, Murder dog, don't, don't sit on that murder dog. Um, the one, the one, I have a couple of blankets that need to be washed, and uh, that would just cost me a lot more money. So I'm hoping we could figure out a way where the, the wife can. Uh, I may have to turn this at this point. It's getting really, uh, it's getting really bad. Oh, and now we're completely dark. dark so that's not going to work. Oh, geez, Louise. Anyway, well, we're probably going to have to wrap this up then because I apologize for the light. I'm trying to do the best I can here. But hey, murder dog, why don't you come over here for a second? Come here, murder dog. Come here. Come here. Say hi to the camera. No, this way. Look. There she is. There's the murder dog. Such a good girl. Yeah, she's happy. She got to see her girls today, and we're hanging out in the park, and now you're being a camera hug. But that's okay. So, yeah, so that's uh, that's the plan. Get all that stuff done, and uh, hopefully be on the road Wednesday for the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest. And uh, I already know there's a couple people I'm going to see there, a couple people who are following me that I'm going to see there, which I'm super psyched about. And uh, hopefully I'll stumble across some more of you. But... On that note, I guess we'll get wrapping up because I don't want to keep shifting back and forth to block out the sun. So, again, I apologize for the lighting. Hopefully the sound's a lot better on this one. Apparently, again, for some reason, OBS reset itself to default settings. And uh, I didn't check last night because it had been good to go for the past few days, so I didn't bother. And that's, I think, what happened with the... I guess I was picking up the uh, onboard mic last night. It was all echoey because of where I was. So I do apologize for that. Hopefully this one sounds a lot better and, uh, you know, you'll deal with the uh, video issues. Anyway, thanks again, everybody. This is uh, this has been Abolitionist Jay, and uh, 
yeah, I'll catch you next time. Peace, y'all. <laughs>